This is Eric Mwada with Mwada.com with another Rethink video. Let's take a look today at the gold trade. Right there, you can see that gold down about 7% at the open today. Huge, huge drop. In fact, it's the biggest GLD drop since its inception. So almost a 5% gap down at the open. Huge move. Now, if you go back to the videos that we've been talking about gold, you'll see that we were already aware that if gold on a monthly level was A, going to break this support level. Now, this support level had held for many, many months, going back to 2011. So, as far as the price was concerned, any drop below that would have been catastrophic. But really, what investors need to rethink is the monthly charts, because the monthly charts were showing that should the RSI, which is the way we were looking at this, break that support line here and also move below 50, which is a key. Moving below 50 would have guaranteed gold a big, big move to the downside. Okay, so this is the chart of gold at the very end of March of this year. So at the end of March, let's fast forward to the current trading in April and you see that now price has broken down here you see that the RSI has broken down this support level here and more importantly GLD slashing below 50 guarantees it a huge drop right now for the month down almost 13 percent huge drop now the best way to have played this was to have gone long the DUST you wanted it to break out above the monthly closing highs and also the fact that the RSI had an opportunity of breaking out here to all-time highs and more importantly breaking out above 61.8 on the monthly RSI. Moving above 61.8 on the monthly RSI was going to guarantee this instrument a big swing to the upside. Now let's fast forward and you see that for the month now that it's broken out, we broke out here to all-time highs and we are also breaking out above 61.8 for the month the stock is up almost 90 percent now let's take a look at another one here it is DGLD now notice it also had an opportunity of breaking out on the monthly level here now after this one month of rest right there so you knew that if it broke out above that level on a price that would be a buy signal but more importantly breaking out to all-time highs on the RSI on the monthly and also moving above 50 would have guaranteed this instrument a big upswing for the month and that's why you see now for the month here it is up 44 percent because a we have a price breakout and then we have an RSI breakout to new highs and also a move above 50 on the monthly so those levels the 50 level 61.8 are the reason why gold is having this big swing, the biggest swing in more than 33 years. Eric Mwada with Mwada.com. As always, good luck, peace, and blessings. Woo! Dennis Gartman joins us on the Squawk News line. And Dennis, these are some haywire markets this morning. What do you think is happening? Uh, I, I think, this is, first of all, I think there's just a lot of people throwing up their hands, throwing positions overboard. Panic is everywhere. The margin clerks seem to have uh, taken control. And I think in gold... What you really have here, Becky, is, is the fact that Cyprus has been told they will have to liquidate some of their gold to meet uh, the, the bailout. And if Cyprus has to do it, I suspect Spain and Portugal, Italy will also be rumored to do it. That's weighing on prices. It's one of those events that, that come along every once in a while. I've been at this 40 years, and I have to tell you, normally people say they've never seen anything like this. They don't mean it. I've never seen anything like this. I mean it. And gold prices, you pointed out in your letter this morning, just since Friday, we've seen a drop of almost $150 an ounce. Yeah. I, I go mean, ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. I mean, the, just the sell-off coming from the Cyprus Bank, what does that signal? That other, uh, other countries that get in trouble would be forced to sell gold, too? I think that's exactly what's going on, Beck. They, 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 I think it would be unfair to, to force the Cypriots to sell and not to have the others do exactly the same thing. I think that's in the market. I think clearly Mr. Paulson has himself a bit of difficulty with his, uh, with his fund. I think that's in the market. 
Uh, you've got crude oil falling. Uh, the, the, what was happening over there, the, the backwardation was beginning to, to come in very substantially in both Brent and WTI, indicating that there's more than enough crude oil to be found around the world to meet in demand. We're actually moving towards a contango uh, very swiftly. That's weighing on the gold market. You just got the margin clerks with very sharp pencils this morning. Here we are under 14. Who would have thought Dennis, it's not I? Dennis, we were already at 16 before any of this happened. And, and you know, the, 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 the central banks around the world were printing as quickly as they could for the past two years, and gold has, has been coming down for how long? It's been coming down for eight to every. It got over it completely loved. It was so dear to oh, no people point. that it, it, so every, every person in the world was predicting over. It was for 2011 <laughs> or 2012. They, they were predicting over $2,000 an ounce. And okay, so you've got every day you hear that there's going to be a nuclear war started by North Korea. You've, you've still got you know 85 billion in this country. You got Japan in the last three months is 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 uh, set uh, out on it on even more printing, and it's still dropped below 1500. I mean that or below 1400. No question. So that's it, it more has. than Cyprus. That is a lot more than Cyprus, and more no. than more than some central banks Joe, selling. The question, Joe, the question was. What has driven gold down in the last right. 24 to 48 why, why, hours? Why did it peak a year and a half ago? Because you probably had far too, too, far too many people getting far too, too accepting of far too much central bank uh, expansion yeah. of reserves. I think the central banks are probably pulling back on the right. expansion of those reserves. That's what I think. Not say. a question. Gold in dollar terms has been a horrifyingly bad a ridiculously bad, a terrifyingly the, bad. The writing's investment. on the wall, I think, Dennis. I mean, the writing, and, and, the and, has, and the Rosengren, has been... I'm not saying it's Rosengren. I'm saying he's a metaphor. When you get someone, you know, he happens to be the, the third story. And when do you put a Boston Fed guy as the third or second story in the Wall Street Journal? Maybe it's a it's a slow uh, news day, but to put him there just because someone so dovish is saying he can see the day when they stop. I mean, it seems like just slow, instead of opening, you know, instead of like turning on, 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 maybe you're just starting to feel a little bit of, of where they're starting to turn it off a little. Well, I think that the Fed is clearly going to be turning off uh, the, the expansion of reserves sometime later this year. The fact that they put it on the table, the fact that they've debated it is, is, is in and of itself detrimental to gold. That's been the reason why the gold market has not rallied, had been falling, had been under pressure. But the question that Becky put to me was, why has gold fallen as precipitously as it has in the last 24 hours? I think yeah. that's another story. Boy, and, and uh, you just, what should we buy if there's a major geopolitical event? What, do you have any suggestions? Uh, government security has been the only <laughs> yeah. thing to own. I mean, it's, whether you like it or not, Joe, that's been the best trade. You're right. People have given Gary Schilling and others a very hard time, but that has been and probably will continue to be the best trade. We forget that down here, as we say in the bond pit, having grown up there, the value of an 01, the value of a one basis point move at these levels has such a greater price implication than the value of an 01 five years ago, 10 years ago, or when I started 30 years ago. You move, it, you move yields one basis point, you get a big move in price, and that's what's happening down here. People are moving to. People are still going to be moving to government securities. They have been moving to equities. That may be a little. That that latter trade may be problematic. Or